Welcome back everyone. We are going to take a look at SQL Server indexes in this video and the next one. This video is more conceptual and it's going to be fairly short. In the next one we're going to actually create indexes. So the concept of indexes is uh, familiar to just about everyone. If you want to try to find something uh, in, inside of a say textbook, you don't go through page by page to try to find uh, that particular word or vocabulary. You look at the back of the textbook at an index and it tells you what pages uh, those words or vocabularies show up and then you go and find it. So SQL Server uses basically the same con uh, uh, concept. Uh, there are two types of indexes. There is a clustered one and there is an unclustered one or non-clustered one. <clears throat> and um, the difference is that a clustered index internally rearranges the database or the table uh, based on that index. In this particular case, if I were to take this table and say create an index on the last name and the first name, the table will be rearranged based on that ordering that I've requested. Now keep in mind that by default in SQL Server, this is not every DBMS, I want to be specific about this, but in SQL Server by default the primary in, uh, key will always get a def uh, clustered index. So as soon as you create a table with it and you define a primary key, uh, a clustered index is created. Because the structure of the table is rearranged based on that clustered index, you can only have one clustered index per table. However, you can have many non-clustered indexes. So in this particular case, let's say I want to order, uh, you know, I have a clustered index already, that's the primary key customer ID. Let's say I want to create a cluster a non-clustered key on the last name. I can do that. When you do that, keep in mind that that's a separate entity that's created. It's outside of the table and it's, it's basically maintained by SQL Server. As you add more rows or update more stuff, the cluster, the key, the, the indexes need to be updated. This is um, not necessarily an automated process. You do you do have the option to make it automated, of course, but you can always go in and refresh your indexes if you want. Keep in mind, indexes speed up your selection, your read results, but they do slow down insertions and updates. So keep that in mind. So you don't want to go and index everything. You want to index what makes sense, what you expect to do a lot of searches on. So that's, as I mentioned, a non-clustered index creates a separate index based on a column or columns because you can't put an index on multiple columns. You can have several, of course. Uh, there are extra rights associated with it. Uh, and you basically use it when you expect to use a column in a more or less a select statement. That's it for indexes. In the next lesson, we are going to actually create indices for SQL Server. Thank you for being a great audience and for watching. See you soon.